I created this website in less than 10 minutes using AI, and I want to show you exactly how to do this for yourself too and get your website up and running. You don't need any other tools, by the way. This is going to take care of everything, give you a domain for your website, give you hosting, and I'm going to show you this whole thing in five easy steps. Okay, so we're going to use a platform called Hostinger to do this. This will give you everything you need to create your website. So typically for websites, you need a domain. This will give you a free one. You need a website hosting. This will provide that too. And the third thing you need is a website builder. Hostinger has an AI website builder that we're going to use where a single sentence is going to get us started and then we could customize from there. So I'm going to include my sponsored link for Hostinger in the description. You could choose between their plans. It's the most affordable way to create a website. So I'm going to choose this business plan here for this one. And one of the key benefits to this business plan is you get a suite of AI tools. So you're going to get an AI blog generator, for example, AI image generator is going to come in handy. I'm going to show you how to use that one. And if you're going to sell anything online, you also get this e-commerce option. So this comes with the business plan as well. And they gave me an additional coupon code that you could go ahead and type here. And that will take an additional 10% off your discount. This is, by the way, for four years of everything. So you could host 100 websites if you want with this hosting plan. And this also gives you a free domain over here. Now you could create your account here, follow the process, but let me show you how easy this is. I'll log into my account. Now this is the hosting your dashboard. I'm under the website list right here under this dropdown. And I'm gonna add a new website and all your previous websites will show over here. And you could edit each one from here. And you have three main options, a WordPress install. You could do a hosting your website builder option. This is the AI website builder I'm gonna show you. Or you could start here with code, which I'm not going to show you. This is going to be a really easy AI website builder tutorial. So we'll click on this one. And here's all you need to do to create your website. So the AI creates the website for you. You just need a brand name and you need a brief description. And I'll go ahead and type one out. Okay, the name is going to be Next AI Consulting. Let's say this is an AI consulting business and I'm trying to generate leads through my website. And it says Next AI Consulting helps businesses integrate AI solution to improve efficiency automation. And a little bit more about what this does and the service we offer, AI strategy, implementation, custom solutions, workflows, and some training. So this is up to 700 characters. So put in whatever you want based on the type of website you're making. And I'm gonna create it from here. Now this part literally only takes like a few seconds here. It creates the entire layout for us. So I'm gonna let this finish up, it's almost done here. Okay, there we go, it's gonna bring us to this page. Now on this page, before I show you everything we got from the left side, we could actually choose a color palette. So I typically like a little bit of a brighter color palette, but this will again decide some color palettes for you. I'm gonna choose this one right over here. Press continue. Okay, so this step now is gonna be customizing the website. The AI in the previous step took care of 80% of the heavy lifting for us. We'll put some finishing touches, but by default, it puts our name up here. So based on what we put in that description box before, and then it put everything. It created the headline for us, empowering businesses with AI solution. Fantastic headline already. We got ourselves a subheadline tailored AI strategy to enhance decision making and streamline operation. Perfect. Get started is already here and it's given us all the different things that we offer over here. If you scroll down, it has these different sections created for us. Let me just keep showing you some of this. It puts some placeholder testimonials, which obviously we want to change with our own. All our solutions, all the things we offer are created over here. It created this footer for us with our contact information. Again, these are the things that we need to customize. And if I come to the top, it's also created other pages for us. So we have a service page because I told it, hey, these are the different services we provide. So it put that into this page. And I mean, this is looking so good already. There is a solution page here. You could kind of browse through that. And there's a contact page. Obviously, we want to do some updates to this, but this is what the default page looks like right now. And this is also mobile optimized. So if you click this little icon on top, so that was our desktop view. This is our mobile view. And we could see it looks really good on mobile already. So there's not that much we need to do. All we need to do is change the desktop text here or anything like images and videos and it will take care of the mobile side for us too. Because a lot of people are gonna look at your website on mobile. You wanna make sure it works well for both. Now I'll quickly show you some of these customization options because there's a lot of ways you could still use AI to improve this. So if I click on my headline right here, which is the most important part of the website, you wanna tell people 
exactly what you do in a benefit oriented way so they see how you could help them right here with about five to 10 different words, right? So this already did that for us, but we have this AI writer over here so we could write a text description and get it to generate new text for us. I actually really like this one, so I'm gonna leave this one. You could always type your own, by the way, too, so this is fully editable and you have all these different options like the color, the fonts, and all the usual stuff right on top over here. But again, the AI did a lot of that work for us, so I don't need to change anything. With anything like a button too, you could go ahead and edit that button. So if you wanted a different style, for example, they usually have a style tab. So you could go ahead and change the style, for example. Let's say I want the fill color for this one to be blue. I could click that and I get a blue one. I actually like this a little bit better, so I'll leave that. So that's editing text, that's editing buttons. But if you wanna change videos or any type of images, all you have to do is select it. And you could see it says right here, edit section. So I'm gonna click on that. And this is the video that he chose for us. So I could change this video out, I could replace it. And I could type in AI here and get a bunch of other options if I wanna switch that out. So I could go through this list and see if something is a better fit. The other option you have is instead of video background, you could choose an image background. And then you could go ahead and search for images over here. So I could search for AI and replace it with an image instead of a video. So that is always an option. And if you find something that you like more, you literally just click on it like this and then add this to the page and it replaces it. In this case, I'm just gonna undo that one because I really did like the video a little bit more. And you could also generate images. So you could use a text prompt over here. And with this, you just literally describe an image and it will create that as your background. Now I'm gonna ask for a futuristic office setting and you could use other tools like ChatGPT to come up with these type of image descriptions. And I'm gonna go ahead and generate some images there. Maybe that will be better than what it picked for us. And I could select one just like this and it will become my background. Maybe this is actually a better fit. Here's another option over here and I could create new ones as well. Now, if you wanna add things instead of editing what the AI created for us on the left side, pretty much everything you want to add, you can add. So if I click on add elements, you'll see all kinds of different things you could add. So let's say you wanted to add a video, you could click on that and it will add this video right over here. You could also place this pretty much anywhere you want. So let's say I don't like this image, I'm gonna delete it. And instead I'm gonna bring the video over here. It's really easy drag and drop. And then I could select this video and I could go ahead and edit it and change the link to a YouTube video that I wanna include over here. So you could see it's already designed very well, but it makes it really easy with this element option to add anything that is missing. You also have these other options for navigation. So let's say you needed to add more pages. This one already created the pages based on the description we gave it, but if you wanted to add more, you could always add more from over here from the bottom. It says add page, and then you could start with one of these templates. Again, customize it to your liking. You could always generate the page. This is the AI tool that we kind of used in the beginning, but this is just to generate a new page for us that we did not get in the very first prompt. Now, Hostinger also comes with this huge set of AI tools. So if you don't have a logo yet, this created this kind of text logo, but you could use their AI logo maker. This helps you with SEO to rank in Google search. It also has a blog generator, page generator, writer, image generator that I showed you. So take advantage of all these different AI tools to just speed up your creation process. Then I would go to the contact page, make sure your contact is up to date, and then go ahead and just preview right on top. This is what the website actually is gonna look like. So go ahead and go through it, make sure everything is updated. Look at it on mobile. It looks really good on mobile over here. If you need to change anything, make sure you do that now. And that takes us to the very last step, which is making this website live. So if I press go live right over here on top in preview mode, it literally puts it on this domain. And because I sign up with the business plan, that also comes with a free custom domain. And I'll show you how to set that up in a few seconds too. So if I share this with someone, they could go ahead and go to this website. This is exactly what it's gonna look like, which is what we've previewed already. And if I come back to this page, I could also get my domain over here. So this makes a temporary domain. Obviously it doesn't look good enough to share but it is a great way to get feedback at this stage before you actually go live. But now all I have to do is press get domain. I could type in any domain or I could just type in the name of my business here. It's gonna tell me what's available. So any domain that is taken, it's not gonna show here, but any that is available, I could go through and see which one is a good fit. Now .co, for example, is a good one. A lot of times .coms are gonna be taken. 
.io is another popular one if .com is taken and .ai is becoming more and more popular too. And then you go through the process and get that domain connected to that website and you're all set. You literally have a website live on the internet, obviously customize it as much as you want to, but the AI does an excellent job just off that very first prompt to give you all the different pieces, get you 80% there, and then you just put in the finishing touches. The links and all the steps are included in the description below this video. Thanks again for hosting here, for partnering with me on this video. I'll see you on the next one.